All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. And today I am back, finally. Uh, it's been like two months since I last posted my video. And today, as you can guess by the title, I'm gonna be making a tutorial. So this tutorial will be on the slime block car elevator that goes up and down, and that is really resource friendly. So as you can see from last time and this time, it's actually a bit more compact. Um, so I'm gonna be making a tutorial on this more compact version. Um, so yeah, uh, a lot of you guys requested it, uh, you wanted me to make a tutorial because you couldn't really fully understand how it was built. So today I'm gonna make a tutorial. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into the action. Alright, so we're gonna start by talking about the blocks and the dimensions. So for the dimensions, you're gonna need a 4x5 block, uh, width and length. Um, for the height, you can go crazy and start from bedrock level and just go to the height limit basically. So for the materials, it's going to be on this chest. So the materials you will need are sticky pistons, pistons, slime blocks, any block that doesn't get pushed by pistons or by slime blocks or pulled by them. Uh, any block of your choice that looks really cool. I like the quartz um, that could stick to slime blocks, of course. Uh, redstone block, button, redstone, repeater, and finally, any kind of slab. So let's get building right now. Alright, so for the building part, I'm going to separate this into three different parts. So I'm going to build the elevator itself, and then the wiring to push it up, and then the wiring to push it down. So first we're going to start by the elevator, so what you want to do is put your non-pushable block in the center like that. Put a piston, a regular piston facing upwards, a slime block, a sticky paste piston facing downwards, a regular piston facing upwards, a slime block, and a regular piston facing downwards. After that, you want to add another sticky piston, like this, facing upwards. Uh, slime block and then one block above or actually I should say two blocks above you want to add a uh, regular piston facing downward so it looks something like this after that you want to add slime blocks right beside each of these slime blocks to extend it out and you want to make sure to remember to put your favorite block or your cool ass block right in the center over here this is going to be the block you're going to stand on after that you want to put a redstone block here 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 here, here, and over here. So this is actually supposed to be the downwards mode. It should be like this when it goes down, but I'm just gonna put it like this so it's gonna be easier for me to do the wiring. Anyways, let's go on to the wiring. All right, so for the wiring to push it upwards, um, basically it's just pistons pushing the redstone blocks and you just have to wire it. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is put obsidian here and here or the block that doesn't get pushed. There and there, put a piston, regular piston facing inward to the redstone block. Same thing over here, you want to have a regular piston facing into the block. And put a quartz block over here just to, for after. You also want to put a quartz block over here and two blocks gap over here and another one over here. So something like this. And then you want to put a sticky piston facing into these blocks. So not a regular piston, but a sticky piston. Just like this. All right. Oops, all right, there we go. So after that, you want to extend this platform. Uh, it's actually not gonna be part of the platform, it's just for a button. And you wanna start wiring it, so put a redstone dust here, and this kinda triangular thing over here. Put repeaters there, there, facing into a block. And then under the this block, you wanna extend it out like this, and this block, you wanna put it like that. After that, you wanna just add your dust over here and over here. And the same thing goes over here, you want to extend this down here, make sure this face into the block. Um, put redstone dust here, here, and put a repeater here set at 3 ticks. You want to do this triangle thing here again, like this. Uh, and you want to put a redstone repeater over here set at uh, 2 ticks. After that, you want to put redstone dust here and here. And you want to start getting your slabs in, so I should swap this out. And you want to extend this twice over here. And basically, you want to make your staircase of slabs over here. So uh, do something like this. And then something like this. It's kind of difficult to do. Um, but you get a hang of it after. Uh, and like this. So there you go. And after that, all you have to do is make sure that all of these slabs have redstone on it. And then this block also has to have redstone on it. And there you go. So that's your wiring to push it upward. It's pretty compact. And just to make sure it works, I'm gonna press the button right now. So press the button. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. 
no flaws everything's perfect there's not a block missing or anything like that you want to make sure everything's perfectly fine because um, this elevator really you just want to have everything right so let's go to the wiring to push it down all right so for the wiring to push it down basically you just want to start back at this position so you could either rebuild the whole thing or just don't press the button when um, i did it <laughs> so keep it at this and basically one, what you want to do is prepare yourself your obsidian block and press the button to go up. In creative mode this is way easier, I don't think you can actually do this in survival so you actually have to place the block. But in creative mode what I do is I just wait until a certain height I like. Um, so I'm going to stop it here and just want to place the obsidian block on top of the piston just like that. So the stopping position should look something like that. I didn't want to stop it too high because um, I just want to make sure this is pretty close so it's easy to make and to show you guys, but you could actually make this a lot higher. So the obsidian uh, block is where it's going to stop your contraption and this is going to be the height, well, the height of where you're going to get off. So let's start by wiring it again. So it's basically the same thing all over again, but this time it's a bit more complicated. I kind of memorized how to place it, um, but kind of not also. So what you want to do is just to start it simple, just make sure all your regular pistons are facing into the redstone block that are supposed to move so like this like that and like oops and like this facing into that redstone block then you want to add a quartz block here and two blocks above another block over here and like before you want to have your sticky piston out over here facing into those blocks like this and like this Alright, so actually switch the slabs again because you'll need it. Um, you just want to extend the platform again and put the button again. And this time you want to do this kind of diamond, uh, like this, the shape. But instead of putting a block here, you want to put a slab here. Oh my god, this is complicated. Alright, so put a slab like that. So it looks something like this. And what you want to do is put obsidian here, a obsidian block here, and a obsidian block over here. After that, you want to put quartz blocks here, um, here, like this, and then make a staircase here to connect this to the obsidian block, like that. Um, after that, you want to put a slab again over here, um, like this. Um, put blocks like that. Um, okay, let's just add in the dust. So dust everywhere over here to this obsidian. Dust over here down to that obsidian. Dust here and here. Um, dust here. Uh, oh, actually no. You put the quartz block like this. And you want to set this repeater at 3 ticks. Then you want to put slabs here. Um, so... A slab over here and a slab down here like this and you want to put your redstone dust here put a regular block here and then a regular block like this put redstone dust and a repeater with four ticks okay so that was kind of long to explain um, I hope you guys understood it um, I was kind of derping around too because I don't really remember it correctly but I'm pretty sure this works. All right, so let's test it out and let's press the button. So as you can see, it works. That's amazing. Okay, so it actually works. I didn't fail. That's amazing, guys. So as you can see, going downwards, it works and it will stop at this red, uh, this obsidian block over here. And let's just start it again. So going upwards and it works, as you can see. It's amazing. So there is a tutorial, basically. Um, I'm just gonna make sure it works again just to make sure everything's right so as you can see when you go up you land here and if you press it again you should be able to go down so anyways guys um, yeah this concludes the tutorial alright so anyways guys thanks so much for watching uh, this tutorial and once again I hope you enjoyed it so I hope you understood it actually because it's really complicated and I hope my steps were easy to follow but basically this is the end of the tutorial so you can stop asking for a tutorial. I know it's been like six months, but here you have it, finally the tutorial. I still don't think anyone actually made a better one, a better car elevator than me, so yeah. 
This one is still the most resourceful and the more, uh, the most compact. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you later. Thanks so much for watching. All right, so just before I leave, I have something to announce to all my subscribers and basically anyone that's still watching this video up up until now. So the first things first is um, uh, why haven't I been posting? So it's been two months since I've actually posted a video. It's kind of crazy. Um, that's all because of school. I have a lot of work at school. They're giving a lot of projects because I'm in this sort of somewhat advanced program, I guess you could say, international program. I don't know. And they just give a lot of homework and projects, even for Christmas break. I mean, I have like eight projects to do and I'm even going on vacation. I don't have enough time to do that and do YouTube videos. So that's basically the reason why I'm lacking on videos. But I promise you guys, I'll try to upload as much as possible with the highest quality as possible. It's just like it kind of takes time and I don't have enough time to do that. But anyways, uh, within those two months, we actually surpass a few milestones, actually two different milestones. It's actually really crazy. And I forgot to announce this in a video, so I'm going to announce it now. But if you want to like keep up to date to some news, then just follow me on uh, Twitter and like my page on Facebook because I usually post stuff there sometimes. Rarely actually, but I do post stuff. Um, so these two milestones are one, passing 5,000 subscribers, and the second one is passing 2 million video views in total. It's amazing, guys, and I have to thank every one of you that actually been supporting me. It's amazing. I'm grateful to all of you. It's crazy, actually. I never thought I was actually going to surpass 5,000 subscribers. When I started, I was like, okay, I never thought I was going to pass this, but now 5,000 already and already 2 million video views. It's crazy. But yeah, so here's the 5,000 and 2 million video views. And the final thing I want to say is that uh, Broadband TV actually made a new program called the Referral Program or Affiliate Program. And I'm in this program and I just basically this program wants me to introduce TGN and Viso, basically Broadband TV to all my viewers. So for anyone that's actually watching my videos that if you guys think you have enough potential to join Viso or TGN, um, there are links down in the description for you to actually just join TGN or Viso. They are great uh, networks that you should join and they're all pro uh, part of Broadband TV. So yeah, anyways, if you are interested in joining Broadband TV or think you have the potential to join it, go down in the description and click those links and just join. It's amazing. It's always great to have more recruits. And anyways, if you guys join, I might be able to find you on the forums or something and we can make a video together. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. This will be the end of this long video, long tutorial, actually. But yeah, so thank you so much, guys. I'm very grateful to, all, uh, to all of you guys. Thank you very much.